Here's the problem. There are 30 million homes in the United States and Canada with vented dirt crawl spaces. These homes were built according to the building code, and yet they're highly dysfunctional, making homeowners uncomfortable, unhealthy, and costing them more in fuel and electric costs. Having a dirt floor exposed underneath your home doesn't sound like a good idea, and it's not. Dirt floors allow air and moisture to enter your home. So vents were added around crawl spaces to allow this moisture to vent out. The problem is airflow in a house is from bottom to top. Air leaks out the top of the house and in at the bottom. This brings in cold outdoor air in through all the vents in the winter. So we insulate our floors, meaning the crawl space ceiling. The insulation is not in a closed cavity where it can do any good. It's porous and open to the cold air. And since the insulation is installed horizontally, gravity pulls it away from the subfloor that it's supposed to be insulating. And just a small space above that insulation allows cold air to get above it against that floor, rendering the insulation useless. In the summer, vents allow warm, humid outside air to enter the cool subterranean crawl space. When we cool that outside air, we raise the relative humidity well above the 70% necessary for mold to grow, the 90% necessary for rot to occur, and condensation forms all over ducts, framing, and insulation. And insects and other pests love damp, dirty, dark places, and they move in. This is not an isolated problem. Nearly all homes with vented dirt crawl spaces have mold and pests, and have higher electric costs because damp air is harder to air condition than dry air. And having cold winter air entering your crawl space right under your feet in the winter makes your floors upstairs cold, which makes your whole house feel colder. Mommy, I'm cold. Can we fix this problem? Well, of course we can. In fact, we've already fixed 75,000 crawl spaces with something called the Clean Space Crawl Space Encapsulation System. The question is, why wouldn't everyone fix their crawl space right now? The answer is simple, cost. Of course, there are variables such as the size of the crawl space and whether there's a groundwater problem to fix, but on average, $7,000 will transform your home dramatically. First, any groundwater leakage is fixed. Then, the house is isolated from the earth with the clean space liner on the floors and foam insulation on the walls. Then, the vents and any other outside air leaks are sealed up permanently. Lastly, a special dehumidification system is installed. You wind up with a clean, dry, healthy space under your home that's warm in the winter and dry year-round. The benefits can be felt immediately. Warmer floors and a more comfortable home that's easier to heat and cool. But does it cost $7,000? Does it cost anything at all? Research proves that if we stop letting cold outside air under our homes, making our floors and ducts cold, we can save 15 to 18% on our heating costs. And if we stop letting warm, humid summer air in underneath our house, we can save on our air conditioning costs. In fact, by transforming a vented dirt crawl space to a sealed crawl space, you can save on average $900 per year on fuel and electric costs for heating and air conditioning. So, after 12 months, we've saved $900 and only have $6,100 invested. After two years, we have saved $1,800. After three years, we have saved $2,700. After four years, we have saved $3,600 on heating and air conditioning costs. After five years, we've saved $4,500. After six years, we have saved $5,400. After seven years, we have saved $6,300. And after eight years, we have saved the full amount all while living in a more comfortable, less moldy, healthier home that you want and need. Then you continue to save $900 per year forever. That's a tidy 12.8% guaranteed tax-free. And where else can you find an investment like that these days? In fact, 
As fuel and electric costs go up, you'll save even more than that. And these financial returns do not include savings from mold and rot repairs and property value increases, which could be more than the savings on heating and air conditioning. But what if someone doesn't fix their vented dirt crawl space because they don't want to spend the money? Each year, they will overpay for fuel and electricity by $900. After 24 months, they've overpaid by $1,800. After three years, they've overpaid by $2,700. After four years, they have paid an additional $3,600. After five years, they paid $4,500 more than necessary for fuel and electricity. After six years, they paid $5,400 extra. After seven years, $6,300 more. And after eight years, they have paid for the healthy, comfortable home that they did not get and will continue to pay extra each year, all while living in an uncomfortable home. Your crawl space is one project you're going to pay for whether you get it or not. Let's explore the impact on our natural resources and the environment from fixing our dirt crawl space. How much natural gas does the average house take to keep it heated? I'd like some natural gas to heat my house, please. How long would you like to heat it for? Uh, one minute. That'll be two cents, Mac. Here you go. Well, I see the gas, but what's this? That's carbon, Mac. It comes with the gas. I, I don't want the carbon. Sorry, it comes with it. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Mac, that's your problem. Most people just watch it go right up the chimney. <sighs> when gas or oil is burned, it's combined with oxygen to produce other gases, mostly carbon dioxide and water vapor. For every cubic foot of natural gas burned, one cubic foot of carbon dioxide, weighing 2.2 ounces, is produced and sent up your chimney into the atmosphere. In the winter, how much natural gas it takes to heat your house is based on how leaky it is and how well insulated it is. Houses with vented dirt crawl spaces are very leaky and very poorly insulated. I'll take one hour's worth. That'll be 95 cents, please. Thank you. Here's your carbon and here's your gas. In fact, on a typical cold winter day, the average house burns 1,700 cubic feet of natural gas to keep it heated. This produces 208 cubic feet of carbon dioxide that is expelled up the chimney. By burning this gas or oil, we release its BTU content. The furnace burns fuel to make hot air and sends it through a duct system to our rooms. Often, this duct system is located in the crawl space. The cold winter air freely entering the crawl space vents cools the ducts and the warm air in them. While the furnace makes 120 degree air and sends it through the duct system to the rooms we want to heat, this air may only be 95 degrees by the time it comes out of the heat registers in those rooms. Anyone can understand that a furnace will have to run longer to heat a room with 95 degree air than it would with 120 degree air. Then there are duct leaks. Ducts have joints in them, and plenty of air that you paid to heat leaks out into the crawl space, which is lost in a crawl space that's vented with cold outside winter air. By stopping moisture from the ground and the walls, and by keeping humid summer air out, we greatly reduce the moisture load, making the house easier to cool. And by keeping the crawl space dry, mold and rot don't stand a chance, and bugs and other pests are greatly reduced. Results will vary, of course, but when we fix the dirt crawl space in your home, on average, over eight years, you will save the full amount that that project costs. Enjoy a more comfortable home. Save 400,000 cubic feet of natural gas and prevent 26 tons of carbon dioxide from going into the atmosphere from your home. By contrast, to save that much money each year and to prevent that much carbon dioxide from going into the atmosphere, by installing solar panels, you would have to invest $26,000, almost four times as much. It turns out some big answers to our problems may not start with high-priced technology, just specialized knowledge to do the right things to our homes. 
you know, actually, I, I don't need this much anymore. How come, Mac? I fixed my house. Mac, are you really sure? Yep. What if we could fix 50 homes in your neighborhood? Over 25 years, each homeowner would save over $28,000 and collectively burn 71 million less cubic feet of natural gas. If they were heated by oil, they would save 18,000 gallons each year, or 450,000 gallons over 25 years. Those 50 homes over 25 years would send 5,100 tons less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If every crawl space in the United States and Canada was fixed, those homeowners would save $27 billion on energy cost each year, every year. We all want to make great investments. We all want to be more comfortable at home. And I think if we could, we'd all like to save natural resources and do something positive for the environment. It turns out fixing your dirt crawl space is the place where you can have the biggest impact and do all four. And over a short period of time, it's free. 75,000 homeowners with dirt crawl spaces have already discovered this. What about your home? Let's get started, shall we? Thank you.